Jack. Hey, Dad. Hey. Sorry I'm late. The, um, the traffic was a lot worse than I anticipated. That's uh, all right. I'm just glad you're here. Yeah. So, uh, how do you like my outfit? I don't. Yeah, well, listen, uh... Well, thanks for coming, guy. It's not so bad here, right? Hey, do me a favor. Why don't you talk to your mother and your sister? Maybe you can convince them to come down here for a visit. No, for Thanksgiving, maybe. No? Yeah, sure, no, I'll mention it. Okay, good. Oh, did you bring the quarters? Yeah. Good. Uh... Yeah. No, no, I can't, uh... I can't handle money. They don't... No. I can't even look at the money, but you know, you could no, you could do me a favor. Just go out in the hallway. There's a vending machine. I'd love you to get me a Hershey chocolate bar. Uh, yeah. Oh, and if you have enough left over, could you uh, get me a root beer? A regular diet. Are you serious? Come on. Four twenty-five. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Dad, stop. What did I do? <laughs> Dad, stop it. All right. Dad. What? Why do they say money doesn't grow on trees? Well, but it does. You just got to know where to look. Well, like this tree right here. Yeah. That's a money tree. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Go ahead. Shake it. See what happens. Give it a good hard shake. You'll be surprised. That's it. A little harder. A little harder. Oh! Wow! Look what you did! Twenty dollars! Right? What did I tell you? I didn't have enough for the root beer. No? I wrote you. I, I, I told you to bring five dollars. I did, Dad. The candy bar alone was four twenty-five. Didn't you check the prices first? They don't let me go near those machines. Well, it's ridiculous. I mean, it, it, that, that'd be ninety cents off the road to the gas station. Don't worry about it. It's four dollars. Yeah, well, it's easy for you to say it's not your money. Mm, this chocolate is so good. I've been planning for months what I'm going to get from that vending machine. It's fantastic. How are you? I'm good. You know what they spend here to feed a prisoner per day? A dollar thirty. Well, that's probably why they don't have you touch the vending machines. They start a riot. A dollar thirty, can you believe it? I don't remember the last time I saw a vegetable. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while they'll bring me one of these gigantic GMO tomatoes. You know, it's like this, it's like the size of a freaking cassava melon. And you forget about it. It tastes just horrible. But it's chocolate. Oh boy. This is good. This is good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is a chocolate egg cream, all right? Now, when I was a kid, every day after school, we'd go to the soda fountain and we'd have one of these. Egg? T take a sip. Have some. Tastes fizzy. A little fizzy? Okay, well, here's the thing. If you don't like it, doesn't matter. We're in the best deli in the state of California, and we're gonna order everything on the menu, including a pastrami sandwich as big as your head. You sure you'll be eating that much sugar? It's all right. Hey, listen. Whatever happened to that girl that you introduced me to up in San Francisco? You know, uh, the, the one, the one you were sweet on. Sweet on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, Jacqueline. I think you mean. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um. She's all right. I guess I don't know. We're actually not together anymore. So. Oh. Oh, gee. I, I'm sorry. I thought she was great. Thanks. That. Yeah. Okay, listen, you know, my science, my science is doing really well. Okay, I got a job here at the library, and I can access all kinds of books. I can even send away for scientific journals, and they, it takes a little longer for them to get here. There's a little bit of a process. I have to give somebody a can of tuna once in a while, you know, but I get, I, it's amazing. I can get any book in the world here, and they, they uh, <laughs> these guys call me the mad scientist. You've been gone yeah, for years. Hey, do you know about Lake Maracaibo? No. Okay, look this up on the internet. They have more lightning strikes in that one location than anywhere else on the planet. They have a lot. Ah, good catch. Good catch. Ah. 
Listen, you know about, about Steve Jobs' guy? Yeah. yeah. He's the guy who built your Macintosh computer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, another good one. Well, it turns out he wants to buy one of your dad's inventions. What do you think of that? Cool. I made a semiconductor. You know the difference between a conductor and an insulator? Mm, nope. Well, we got to learn that, along with catching. <laughs> okay, and so what I'm trying to do, and I'm very close, is I'm trying to create a device that can capture the lightning energy. All right? Uh -huh. We're talking five billion joules of energy. Jeez. Billion, with a B. Okay, you know how much that is? Any idea? Mm -hmm. That can power a 60-watt light bulb for six months. And it's free, Dad. okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build... Well, oh, okay, I'm, all right, I'm sorry. I'm boring you, you don't wanna hear about my science stuff. No, I'm, I just, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I... Oh, well, a, a joule is a unit of energy Dad. for me. Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, um, I really don't care. Oh, okay, well, what do you wanna talk about? I mean, we only have a few minutes left here. It's all right. Okay, you see all those gears in there? What are they doing? Telling time. That's exactly right. And the whole thing is entirely mechanical. Isn't that something? Will it go on forever? Yeah. How does it work? Um, well, every clock has a main spring that has to be Your kept mother warm. sent me that article that you wrote for the magazine. I, I, I thought it was great. I thought it was beautifully written. Thanks. And I showed it to some of the inmates here. They also thought that, see? Oh. So uh, you were always a very elegant writer. You know, you, you should write a novel. No, Dad, I don't want to write a novel. Sure you I, do. No. My God. Uh. <laughs> what is it? Come on. Hey. Hey, want to go on an adventure? What? <laughs> Remember I used to say that to you? When you are a little kid, I would say, you want to go on an adventure? And you would say, yes, but you wanted it to be something bigger than Pee Wee's. Well, Indiana Jones more likely. Yeah, so we would, you know, we would, take a, we would take a bus. We would go to no destination in particular, and we would call that an adventure. Don't you remember? Uh, no, I, well, that doesn't sound like a real adventure. That was the best I could give you. Where we go? Uh, depends. I mean, I remember one day we went to the zoo, and uh, we putzed around there for a little bit, and I bought you an ice cream cone, and uh, then we made our way back home. No, I don't remember that. Okay. You were a cute kid. You were a pain in the ass, but you were a cute kid. I'm sure I was. I'm gonna be getting out of here soon, okay? Soon. And, and I just want you to know things Things are gonna be better, okay? We're gonna have more adventures. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a new house for your mom. I'm gonna take her to Europe. We're gonna go to Vienna. Maybe we'll sail around Scandinavia. And then you and I. You know what? You know where we should go? We should go to Montreal. I always wanted to see the library at the medical school where my father's name is up at the ceiling, you know, at McGill. He was a very, very famous alum. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just trying to, have, I'm trying to have a conversation with my boy. Okay. What? What's, no, what's the matter? It's fine. It's just, it's, you, you seem so upbeat. Well, you gotta be it's, positive. It's weird. Listen, listen. Miracles can happen, Jack. Yeah, right, but why does everything have to be so grand? You know, you, you can't make plans to travel the world when you're still in prison. Okay, all right, all right. You I mean, know, you, you don't what, even have a job right now. All right, you know what? You, you don't you, have to lecture me about look, that, please. I'm not, I'm not trying to steal your plans away from you, whatever. You can do whatever you want. Just, I just I just wish you aimed lower. Okay, just no, stop picking on me then, if you don't mind. Maybe we wouldn't be sitting here. You know, maybe you could get a root beer or chocolate bar anytime you wanted over the, the past seven months. There's nothing wrong with normal, Dad. You know, everyone else does it. Okay. Okay, I just want you to know that everything I did, I did for you and your mother and your sister. I just wanted to have, wanted to have the best. I never asked you to hit a grand slam. Listen, Jack, it's gonna be okay. It's, it, no, it's gonna be okay. You gotta believe that, all right? You gotta give me a little trust. 
It's, it's not gonna change, Dad. It's the same fucking thing. You know, you, you've always been in trouble. You always be in all trouble. Right, all right, come on. That's, yeah, just pick yeah, them. That's no, fine. Just that, that, that's you. You know, you you go. You'll hide money from the Why? government. You'll steal money. Why do you keep what, kicking me no, when I'm, I'm down? Just, I'm, but you, what? You take my money. Oh, okay? we're gonna These go there things, now. We're going there. These are things right? you do. I told you, I'm gonna pay you back. I don't care about I, the I'm money. I'm going Dad. to I, pay you I, back. Well, whatever. Look, the thing is, we we miss out on you. And, and you're the hot ticket item, Dad. You're with your replacement on a fucking three cruiser. minutes. You got three minutes before visiting is over. Three minutes. Jack, maybe you're right. Let me try to make it up to you. Come on, let's go on a real adventure. Where are you headed? Going on a real adventure. <laughs> Hop in. Make your way to the front desk to collect your IDs. Inmates, file to the back. <clears throat> Listen, uh, I'm sorry if I, you know, well, I, did, I did the best I could, okay? I, I love you, Bear. I'll see ya. Okay. Dad? I'll bring more quarters next time. 